Hey gang, let's do a quick little recap on Next World Poland. It's been a while since I've touched base with you on it, and you probably were wondering what the hell's going on. Well, nothing very much has actually happened. A uh, couple of complications in personal life, sick kids, job stuff, etc., etc., etc. So uh, my uh, second turn is actually just about to begin, and here's what was interesting. I, I had the opportunity last week to play. Uh, one turn with uh, Ralph Shelton and, oh, dang it, can't remember the other guy's name. Fun guy as well. Anyway, uh, I helped Ralph, you know, basically just roll dice and goof around and watched him play. And we, we talked about, you know, where to allocate stuff and how to, how to play the turn. Uh, the opening turn of the tactical surprise scenario in particular. So one of the key things when you when you kick off this scenario is... Uh, you're making sure you get your air allocations right, obviously, but the opening salvos with cruise missiles and regular missiles is pretty important. You're, what are you going to target? Are you going to target air bases? Are you going to target, uh, you know, these uh, this, uh, these SAM sites, SAM 400 sites? Are you going to try and target headquarters? Are you going to try and do all those things? <clears throat> so. His game, in his game, we really heavily targeted the Russian holding boxes for the Soviet Air Force. Uh, sorry, for the NATO Air Force. And we inflicted a fair amount of damage. And we also uh, focused on the tracks, uh, the air defense tracks, which I typically do anyway. I think that's one of the key things in this game is to beat up on the tracks, which makes intercepting harder. It makes uh, AAA and uh, SAM uh, responses uh, on the early detection table be uh, you know, uh, disadvantaged fairly significantly. So uh, I thought, wow, you know, I really didn't target airfields very much in my game, if at all. I, in fact, I attacked just one all the way down there in Poland and destroyed it. And uh, the, the, the uh, Polish lost a unit and all that sort of fun stuff. And, but it really didn't have a whole lot of effect. But it would have been more effective, perhaps, if it had targeted the NATO uh, airfields and started pushing some of their aircraft out of the game. And, uh, pardon me for the squeaky wheels, uh, the, <clears throat> the difference was relatively stark in terms of available aircraft for both sides at the end of the turn, in terms of those units that were aborted. Uh, I didn't hang around for the die rolling exercise to see uh, who who went from aborted back up into the ready box or the flown box. Excuse me. So uh, that I can't really tell you too much about the differential there, but I can tell you that there were a significant number of aircraft, more aircraft lost on both sides than in my turn. So in my turn, the aircraft lost were just these guys here. There's three. Soviet aircraft or Russian aircraft, I guess we need to call them. And uh, two Polish aircraft were lost. And, you know, that uh, that is very different. So what I thought I would do is reset the whole game and start again. And then I started looking at it like, ah, you know what? <laughs> this is a fair amount of work to reset this and get it all back to where everything was. Oh, look. That is a piece of uh, something from somewhere that looks like insulation. Interesting. Uh, so I, what I did was I, I reallocated all the cruise missiles and all the missiles for the opening turn for both sides and had a look at what the results might have been. And we're talking about one aircraft difference and some strike markers on uh, some airfields. Nothing was destroyed. I didn't roll like the rock star that I did, uh, and nor did the nor did the opposition, who rolled very well in the other game. Uh, I didn't achieve very much for either side in this game. Uh, the game up in Seattle, uh, it was devastating on both sides. We 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 couldn't roll anything but zeros or ones or twos. It was pretty funny. So we're going to keep going, and we're going to keep playing. And uh, this is more of a, a little bit of an update. Uh, I did make a couple of errors during gameplay. And I've noted those and know what's going on. So you may not see a lot of progress on this part of the map over here because I, I believe <coughs> these units may have uh, moved and attacked one time too many. So they're going to sit pat for this turn 
but they will get their uh, exploit movement and that'll be it. Uh, these, these guys are power dropped in and I, I'm curious as to why I didn't power drop everybody in for this side because there's another unit there and HQ. So these guys will probably be isolated uh, this turn. And the 76th guard, I'm looking on the map, but I can't seem to find the other unit for the 76th guard. So unless it's missing or I have, uh, I don't know, misplaced it somewhere. I know I didn't take any casualties because we didn't get any combat there. Or maybe we did, there's an HQ. Dang it, I don't know. So anyway, I gotta find that unit and then, then we'll get started. I'm about to, we just did the initiative phase. The Soviets had a, 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 a far superior number of VPs accumulated in the last turn. So they'll have initiative this turn. We're gonna do electronic detection or ED phase next. And uh, you know, it's this alternating business of uh, rolling uh, on tables. I don't do that. I just do all of the Soviets then I do all the I keep saying Soviets, I guess they're Russians. We have to say Russians, right? Uh, all of the Russians, and then I'll roll for all of the non-allied, i.e. NATO plus friends, uh, forces. So here's a quick little update. Uh, not a, a, a fairly good job here in the land-based areas. We did not conquer Lithuania. We failed our clearing roll, failed our clearing roll here. Uh, we're still in contact here. Uh, we we uh, took Sudova, uh, Sud Suduva and uh, yeah, like I'm pronouncing that guy, and we took this one as well. So uh, and and Tartu was taken, but uh, not uh, not 100. So there's some there's some interesting stuff to go on this turn, and then of course, obviously, we've got the Marines landing on the right hand side. They're going to either try and push into the pole and direct, or uh, land in Germany and then we'll come in from the edge of the map, which is not optimal, but we'll see depending on what happens in the sea movement phase and all the rest of it. One of the things I didn't do as a Russian player, but the Soviet as a Russian player, is mine this, uh, this area here, and that was dumb. I should have done that, but I forgot. So bygones, we'll just move on with that. All right, look forward to catching up with you soon. Hope you're gonna uh, uh, follow along a little bit longer. Next War Poland, Mitch Land's uh, Opus. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao.